Welcome back to SolidWorks Live. We're in Dallas, Texas at SolidWorks World 2019. I'm joined here by Andrew Mitrax with Haptics. Welcome, Andrew. Hey, thanks for having me. So tell us what these are on my hands. So our company is called Haptics. We build Haptex gloves. This is our development kit. These gloves let you touch and feel virtual reality like it's real. You've probably seen VR with a headset. You Maybe you've heard about it before, but you've probably never touched it before. Never felt it. I've well, been in it. <laughs> well, we're about to for the first okay. time. Yeah? It sounds good. All right. You want to give it a try? Yeah. So I'm just going to do this like this, or am I going into VR? Okay. You're going to go into VR. Okay. We're going to do it. Yeah? All cool. right. So we're going to put these on. Nice. All right. Yep. Cool. All right. Oh. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you didn't break anything. Nope, you can still nope. see it. I can still see. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, if you look out in front of you, you can see a, a rain cloud. Yeah. Go ahead and put your palm up underneath that rain cloud. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> can you actually feel those? Yeah, rain it's like again? it's like raining on my hand right now. Raindrops keep falling on my hand. Can yeah. Up one of those rocks. Yeah. So if you look to your le yeah, right there, there's a rock. Whoa. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Can I drop so, it into yeah, my other hand? Yeah, you can drop hand? it, you can pick it up, just use your hands naturally, play around and go crazy. So these gloves, they enable a combination of tactile oh. feedback and force feedback. So as you grip a rock, you'll feel resistive forces that really let you... Like uh, I, can, I feel like I'm holding rigid. a rock in you my hand You feel like you're right holding now. a rock. Yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> so I'm going to set that back down. I can feel the tabletop here. Yeah, yeah, and you're not actually touching it. Yeah. It's all this virtual. Is, this is not like normal virtual reality no, here. This, this is like, I can, these are great. <laughs> Thanks, these are the next <laughs> level. So yeah, you can pick up that tractor as well. You can run your hands for the field of wheat. Now with that tractor, you should be, even be able to feel that that engine is running. Yeah, it's shaking in my, it's, it's vibrating in my hand. hand. Yeah, exactly. So we can really do nuanced textures and, and different forces of feedback. So you can feel the difference between a, a rigid object like that rock and that, that that tractor with the engine running. Oh, now it's cutting the uh, <laughs> grass yeah. over there. So you're not afraid of spiders. I you? don't like spiders. Like spiders. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> so, now, if you want to hold your palm up, let's see if this is a little too real. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the spider <laughs> on my hand. There's no spider that's really on your hand. It's all just ones and zeros. It's, it's not going to bite. It's not going to bite. It wouldn't me, right? do that to you. <laughs> this, is, this could be good for phobia treatment. You know, maybe this is, yeah. Yeah, I get the phobia treatment without the risk, right? Yeah, yeah no risk whatsoever. So this is really fun, but tell me how can people use this in say like an engineering design review absolutely that's a, a great question obviously we designed this to be a fun demo that shows a range of touch interactions but but many of our, our applications are much more practical than this so when it comes to design we want product designers to be able to feel their design as they create it without having a need to manufacture physical prototypes now this is especially useful when it comes to complex systems like cars, uh, airplanes, spacecraft, uh, vehicles, where you want to have the user, you know, reach out and touch the steering wheel and grab it and use their hands naturally. Adjust the volume knob, open the glove compartment, things like that, uh, that you can do all without building a physical prototype. Now, that's a lot to take in as you're smashing UFOs out of the sky. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so just go ahead and grip one of those UFOs. They're, they're going to abduct your farm critters if you, if you don't smash oh, them. Oh, I took that one. Yeah, took so you can clap them, them, you can grasp them, squish them. Nice. I got this yeah. one. Who would have thought you'd be smashing UFOs at SolidWorks World 2019? So when you're designing a product, feel and touch is sometimes as important as the visual aesthetics of those products. And this can like, so when I'm doing this, it's not that I can just feel that there's something there. I can actually feel the texture of what that is. Absolutely. Whether or not it's soft or it's hard or if I can grip it or, so it gives a totally different sense of feedback than what than what I could have ever imagined. I, I, I thought I came here expecting I was just going to touch objects, but I can actually feel the difference in these objects. These, this wheat here, for example, is completely unreal how I can feel it brushing on my hands. Absolutely. Yep, that's what we're all about is that sense of realism, realistic touch in VR. So now you guys have not only a cool story of how a SolidWorks user could potentially do design reviews with these pro, uh, with the Haptex, these devices were actually designed in SolidWorks as well, correct? Absolutely. Every piece that we designed ourselves was modeled using SolidWorks. You know, SolidWorks, I don't think we'd be here today if it wasn't for programs like SolidWorks that really enable entrepreneurs and, and, and engineers to design really uh, complex industrial grade products. 
Uh, so we're very grateful uh, to SolidWorks for, for inviting us here. And we think that we built this using SolidWorks and together working with SolidWorks, we can really change the future of design. Yeah, absolutely. So for the folks watching at home, where can they learn more about Haptex? Absolutely. I'm very glad you asked. So <laughs> Haptex.com, that's H-A-P-T-X.com is our website. We have a form on there, very easy to get in touch with us. We're also on Twitter and all the social media at Haptex. That's at H-A-P-T-X. And for those folks who couldn't attend SolidWorks World today, a, a great thing that you guys did this morning is you guys were actually in a panel this morning where you were talking about, you know, as a company, how do you get started with designs like this? So another great reason to actually come to SolidWorks World itself so you can see cool technologies like this. Yeah. If you are at SolidWorks World, I highly encourage you to come back to the XR zone in the product showcase to try this out yourself. It's unreal, unlike anything you've ever felt before. And trust me when I say that, you can, I, I couldn't believe I could feel it on my palms and, and I could actually feel and interact and touch those things. Absolutely, yeah, don't come here to see it, come here to feel it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> We've all seen VR, it's time to feel VR. Absolutely, great. Andrew, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. And for everybody else, stay tuned. We're going to have lots more live content coming to you throughout the rest of the day. I think we're on almost every hour on the hour. So uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or stay tuned in to the SolidWorks World app. Awesome. Thanks.